Okay, how's it going? This is Rain Barrels Part 4. Um, the system is actually done. Uh, finally. Um, so, uh, all the connectors um, are connected and glued together. I might like use some PVC uh, adhesive and uh, glue the connectors together so they're pretty solid and they're not going anywhere and they're not leaking which is a good thing. Um, made sure I got all those leaks out. I actually redid really a lot of things because I did have some leaks and uh, I put some Teflon around a lot of the parts that were leaking and I'm um, getting no leaks which is pretty dope. I'm using this PVC cement sealer to seal up the pipe so that I get no leaks and that it doesn't come off. So I guess now it's on to the actual uh, flow system at the bottom of the barrel and um, I used more PVC pipe, one inch PVC pipes and uh, I had about three connectors and one elbow and uh, what I did was basically the same concept that I did on the top of the barrel for the overflow valves and I basically just hooked up the PVC pipes to the valves that I am able to open and close at will and I had them run along the table, under the table and um, the idea is pretty efficient. I got two PVC valves that are ball valves and um, they're really good with pressure. So um, I have one part of the uh, piping that is under the uh, rain barrel system that is going to be used for pouring water into buckets because um, I want to have access to the water not only for the drip system but for uh, parts of the garden that I won't be able to get to with the uh, irrigation. Now all I'm waiting on is a little bit of rain but it did rain a little bit and we did get some water but it's not full at all and uh, this valve just turn it off I poured water into a bucket where actually we we're actually can bucket water to the plants that will not begin to drip irrigation and um, it's pretty handy and on the second part I have a hose yeah, adapter that you can hook up some holes and, uh, too and um, I'm gonna be connecting it I got another uh, PVC <laughs> valve ball valve and know that. that is coming out on the side and that's where I will be hooking up the drip irrigation to and on this end I have the uh, hose adapter at the end of this PC and another ball valve at the end and uh, this is actually going to be connected to a tube that will be uh, directing drip irrigation to my garden and um, same thing you know you just turn this and uh, uh, just pours water out, so it's good stuff. Now I'm just waiting on some rain. Fill these guys up. And then right here, I have an overflow valve. And when the last barrel is actually full of water, it'll hit this line right here, and it'll start to pour out into this garbage can. That I so when this garbage can is full, I can actually keep a bucket in here and bucket water out, and use this up first before I go into using this uh, rain barrel water. And um, then I can do other cool things with it, like make compost teas and make manure teas and, you know, do other things with the water that is going to be uh, collected in this, con in this container. The rain system is uh, done and um, now I'm just waiting for rain. We were supposed to get rain this whole week, still hasn't gotten any good rain. So hopefully I get like two or three good days of rain and fill these things up. And um, it looks good. I'm excited. Uh, Next is the uh, drip irrigation system, and uh, I'll make a separate video for that part. And um, in the next video, I'll actually, hopefully by then, the rain barrels will be full. And if it does rain really hard, I'll actually film the rain going into the barrels. And if the overflow is spilling out into the garbage can, that would be pretty cool too. So you can see the whole thing up and running. Excited. Um, got a lot of cool things that I'm working on right now. That project is out of the way for now and um, I can focus on gardening and other things. Um, once again, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned.